Duncan and the Old Mine. It was summer on the island of Sodor. Duncan loved this time of year. Today he was especially excited. He was going to take a party of holidaymakers to see Coldy Caves. But Mr. Percival, the thin controller, had some bad news. The machines at the main coaling plants have broken down. The fat controller needs coal until they are mended. Mr. Percival told Duncan and Rusty to bring coal down from their mine in the hills. Then Thomas will take it to the coaling plant, he said. And, Mr. Percival added, Bertie the bus will take the holidaymakers to Coldy Caves. Duncan was very disappointed. He wanted to go to the caves. Pulling coal shocks wasn't an exciting job at all. As Duncan was puffing slowly to the mine, he noticed an old line branching off into the trees and bushes. That looks like a good place for an adventure, said Duncan excitedly. I oh, wonder what's down there. Duncan pushed his way through the barrier. Rusty was coming down the hill with trucks full of coal. He stopped when he saw Duncan. Look what you've done, Duncan, he hooted. Why did you break through the barrier? I wanted an adventure, Duncan wished quietly. This isn't a time for an adventure, tooted Rusty. We've got work to do. But Duncan didn't want to pull coal trucks anymore. All he could think about was having an adventure. So he puffed further down the line. Duncan clattered along the old line. Finally, the line disappeared into the side of the mountain. It looked like the entrance to an old mine. This is better than caves any day. He told himself excitedly, and he puffed inside. Duncan was too excited to think clearly. He puffed straight into a roof support, and suddenly the roof collapsed behind him. Duncan was trapped. Oh no, Duncan wished. How am I going to get out? Back at the transfer yard, Thomas was waiting. Where's Duncan? Thomas asked. I don't know, said Rusty. I'd better go and look for him. It was dark and lonely in the old mine. Duncan didn't like it at all. He looked up at the shafts of light. Maybe if I whistle, someone will hear me. Duncan whistled as loudly as he could, but there was no reply. He tried again, even louder. But Rusty didn't hear Duncan's whistle. He was too far away. No one knows where I am, wished Duncan miserably. I'll have to find my own way out. Duncan puffed slowly forward. Inch by inch, Duncan crept further into the mine. It was dark in the tunnel and getting darker. Then suddenly, he bumped into a set of buffers. Duncan could go no further. Now he was scared. I'm going to be stuck here forever, he whistled sadly. Rusty arrived at the broken barrier. Perhaps Duncan went looking for an adventure after all, he thought. Soon, Rusty came to the collapsed entrance. Duncan must be inside, he cried. Rusty was very worried. Duncan was still trapped. He puffed nervously backwards and forwards. He bit the buffers again. This time he heard a squeaking noise. Thought, it's the sound of wheels going round. Duncan edged forward very slowly. He hit the buffers again and pushed them carefully. They moved, and as they moved, the wheels squeaked. Duncan hadn't hit buffers at all. He had run into some trucks. 
If there are some tracks on this track, he thought, maybe it'll lead somewhere. He pushed the truck slowly forward along the track. Soon, he saw a light at the end of the tunnel. But the way out was boarded up. Must think clearly, must think clearly, he huffed to himself. Then he had an idea. With all his puff, Duncan bashed the trucks. And they crashed and smashed. Duncan bashed the trucks. And they crashed and smashed through the boards. Duncan was free. I did it! He hooted happily. Rusty heard the crashing sound. He hurried on to see what it was. Soon he found Duncan. Where have you been? He cried. I had an adventure, puffed Duncan happily, and look what I found. Rusty could hardly believe it. Duncan was pushing trucks full of coal. Duncan and Rusty raked the truck down the mountain to top. Duncan and Rusty pulled into the transfer yards. Thomas was very happy to see them. And so was Mr. Percival. Duncan told Mr. Percival all about his adventure. Mr. Percival told Duncan he was very lucky. Duncan should not have broken through the barrier. Adventure can be full of surprises, Duncan, Mr. Percival told him. Some good and some not so good. Rusty and Thomas agreed. So next time I have an adventure, whistled Duncan, I will note a thing clearly all the time. <laughs>